All right, guys, so I've been actually spending the last few days at the river, of course, because it's low and the water's really clear and I've been underwater with goggles and it's amazing the life uh, that's underneath there, the, the fish. And so I've been trying to find a casing for my camera. Unfortunately, they don't have a casing for my camera. So I've been thinking about it for the past few days and I've come up with, I guess, my own invention. In my mind, I haven't built it yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it works. In my mind, it works. <laughs> we'll see if it works in real life. I'd hate to ruin a camera, but um, I just wanna share with you guys what I see when I go diving into this river. So let me show you guys what I've got, the materials I'm gonna use to make an underwater housing for my camera. All right, so I've been doing a little shopping and I found this this jar here. It's a plastic jar. I found it at Walmart for about $14. And it's got it's on a hinge and it has a a rubber gasket. And I've already tested that and it doesn't leak. So that's a good start with right there with that. Um, I've got a package of gaskets. I've got this four inch hose clamp. No hub. I've got this four inch toilet flange. Uh, package of washers some nuts and bolts some silicone gasket maker and a pair of heavy duty chemical neoprene gloves so if, I'm gonna see if I can put all this stuff together and make an underwater housing that'll allow me to operate my camera whether I want to take pictures zoom or make a video underwater so let's get to work and see what happens All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this handle. We don't need this. It just pops out right here. That's done. I feel like I'm gonna have a little bit of an issue because I've got a lip right here. But I think I know how to take care of that, so. What I'm gonna do next is mark my flange here where I want it I think right about there is where it's going to sit Side hole here. So I guess that's basically going to be center, huh? Let's just double check by finding center. This is an eight, eight inch lid.
Alright, so that's pretty much center. Okay. So now we're going to take our drill with the 4 inch hole saw. some sandpaper and sand that off. Can you see that though? Let me go. Alright, I got some sandpaper. I'm just gonna try to take this stuff off. So there you go. And this I, I, I rough this up pretty good and it doesn't matter because that's the camera's gonna be filming through here. So as long as that stays protected. screws just kind of put one in there so it can help keep me aligned So I got all the holes drilled. You can see them there. And I went ahead and I drilled a few extra ones so that they're evenly distributed. I also drilled one here in this empty space and I'm going to put a washer with my screw to hold it in place here. So I can have even distribution of pressure to create a seal on the lid. So, so far, I attached the flange, the toilet flange, to the lid of the bucket, and I used gasket sealer all in there, and 
sand all around the edges here and in these holes around the bolts so we're hoping that that'll hold now I've taken my glove which is going to go in here that'll allow me to operate the camera So I measured it out more or less where I want it. And then I, I marked it and then I measured I measured the the flange here because I want to roll it back on. So I marked it up here where I'm gonna cut the glove. So we'll cut this glove. So, I need to decide which is going to be up and which is going to be bottom. And I don't want this clasp in my view of my camera, so I'm going to probably put that to the bottom, like so. So then the glove will have to go in this way. operation will take place okay now I'm gonna fold this glove over So that allows me access inside of my casing to work my camera. So now we're going to do this. Put this clamp on. I'm going to trap this with an O-ring. clamp on <clears throat> I'm gonna put this bigger old ring in here Tuck it in there.
this thing on there. Allow me access to my camera, providing that it doesn't leak. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go test this out and see if it doesn't leak. If it doesn't leak, I'm gonna proceed to attach a mount for my camera so that it, my I can open this, mount my camera in here, close the lid. work my camera all right so so far that's where we're at I'm gonna go test this thing for leaks all right guys so I tested out my camera housing and I did have a couple of leaks but it was in um, a couple of places one of them I didn't I didn't even know that there was a joint there in the on the uh, container so let me show you what I did and I think I've got the leaks worked out I'm gonna test it here in a minute so here's the container you can see a lot more blue on there now I did have some small leaks on the on the bolts you can see where that rust is but I've siliconed all of that but the main one that I found is Along, along this metal band here, there's a seam, and this piece comes separate from this piece. And when I first tested it, it was just fit perfect, so there was no leak. But since I moved around all the drilling and attaching the flange and everything, it, it made a small leak. So I took it apart and I sealed it all the way around so there's a lot more sealer on this even though it looks like a lot it's still only from that one tube of sealant that I bought of that gasket sealer so I'm gonna go test this out and hopefully there's no more leaks alright so here I am in in the bathroom I got the tub full of water and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a test a leak test to see if this underwater camera housing is gonna hold up so let's uh, see what happens So I'm just going to submerge this thing. Alright, let's, let's 
let's see what happened here. perfectly dry. Good. <laughs> All right guys, so that is the uh, the first test test passed for leaks on this crazy concept I have of making a housing for my camera. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make this one video so that you guys can see what I did. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and come up with a, a way to make a, a mount inside of here so that I can mount my camera. That way I can take my hand out of the glove and the camera's mounted and it's not rattling around in there. I'm just glad this works. I'm not I'm not encouraging anybody to make something like this and put an expensive camera in there. I'm just crazy enough to do stuff like this on my own. So uh, if you guys want to try it, great, but there's no guarantees. I can't guarantee that it'll work for you guys. But uh, as always, thank you guys for watching and uh, look out for part two to this video where I install the camera mount. Take care and we'll see you out on the water.